Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point of adventurer, and this is episode 3 of Let's Play The Blackwell Legacy. So in the previous episode, we got given a task to come and find out about this young girl's... Um, her name is Joanne, not Leanne, as I said in the previous episode. Uh, her suicide. And so I went from door to door, figuring things out. I guess I didn't figure things out. Ooh, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. It's okay. a drinking fountain. Uh, so I talked to this young woman here. But I didn't really get anything out of her. I was going back and forth and back and yeah. forth between this woman and... So Joanne was... Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, Joanne never... Me. How would I know? You lived with... Like, I... Can you tell me a little why? Just back... Oh, thanks. Suit yourself. Right, okay. Well, yeah, we've done all of this stuff. We've done it all. And... Thanks for helping kind me out. Kind of got yeah, stuck. Sure. We need to get a photograph. And we need to, in fact, was there notes? There was notes here, wasn't there? Oh. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. Right click that? No? Anything? My boss asked me to find a photograph of Joanne to put it in the paper. Okay. Adrian. Anything? Nothing. I'm getting a bit confused about what to do, to be honest, guys. Let's talk to Adrian again. I think that's what I've just done in the previous episode. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions. Yeah. I suppose. What do you want? All right, let's ask about the same things. Could you tell me about stuff. Joanne? Well, as I said, I didn't know her social. Nobody ever nice. complained about her. She yeah. always had friends. She never had any trouble. Her. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She, she died instantly. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. But she slept. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? As I said, I wouldn't know. All I know is that Joanne's roommate, Kelly, never complained. But since Kelly rarely spent the night in the room, it's not surprising. Yeah, we did that. We did, we did it all. Well, that's all for right. now. Thanks for helping I'm out. I'm thinking maybe Just I remember, go to the leave roof. my name out of it. Ooh. Um, no. Oh, come on. Looks like a fire alarm. Kathy Rain was. Exit. Where am I going? Oh, hmm. Surely there must be something we have to do here then. Because I have to. I've got to go back. I've got to go back. We go straight to here. Hmm. Nobody was there. Was There's there. nobody home. Nobody home. I haven't got anything to. That was just all those millions of letters, wasn't it? Going to look at that. So after two Just a minutes bunch of, of notices, episodes, guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. After two minutes of this episode, I'm stuck. Right, is there anything else I can click on, or anywhere else I can go? Can I exit out the other way? Right, Kelly and what's the name? Can I exit exit this way? Where does that go? Back out again. Oh, let's go, Rose's apartment. Um, according to Kelly, Joanne slept soundly all night. Joanne was apparently a good student, according to Kelly. Adrian, the RA in the, in the Brittany house dorm, told you that Kelly hardly ever... Kelly sleeps, sleeps elsewhere. Kelly was Joanne's roommate. She still lives in the dorm. Asian is male, but lives in the girls' floor at NYU due to a technicality. Um, if anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If oh. only I could convince her to give it to me. Ooh, hold on. So if I combine the... Is that what I'm doing? Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Kelly. I wonder where Kelly goes to sleep at night. That's interesting. Um, Joanne's suicide. Joanne sleeps all night. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Ah, oh, so all day, except all night. That makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense, okay. Um, Adrian and Kelly. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Yeah, I know that. Joanne and Adrian. Adrian lives a few doors down. Okay. Joanne's suicide. 
and Kelly. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Maybe. Maybe Joanne and Septimo? According to Kelly, Joanne didn't have any trouble sleeping. Maybe Joanne stood it all day? Oh no. Let's do this one. I guess Joanne and Kelly weren't too close if Kelly spent all her nights somewhere else. What about Adrian and Kelly sleep somewhere else? Nothing. What about photograph and Adrian? Maybe Adrian has a photo of Joanne I could use. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back because now I've figured out the actual, you know, how to do that. Maybe they've added some questions or has different branching questions. Hmm? Hi, hmm? it's me again. Me again. Lovely smile. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah. I Is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okay. Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems, but of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? As I said, I wouldn't know. All I know is that Joanne's roommate, Kelly, never complained. But no. since Kelly rarely spent the night in the room, mm -hmm. it's not surprising. Uh, they really thought you were a girl. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They really... Yeah. Uh, did I already ask you if you had a picture of Joanne? Yes, you did. And the answer is still no. Okay. Right, well, that's all Kelly. for now. Thanks for help. Just remember, leave my... Yeah, we know. We know. Leave your name out of it. Jerk one. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Kelly sleeps elsewhere. So, you've been sleeping somewhere else lately? Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You've been following me or something? No. No. Who Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. He has been talking. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Well, I want a photograph. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Oh, I'm just going around in circles, aren't I? Just going around in circles. Is there circles. anything else you can... No. No, nothing else. Okay, fine. Let's just ask about her. Can you tell me a little why? Just back... I don't think suit yourself. Nonsense, nonsense, Thanks for helping nonsense. out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, so next. Joanne, Joanne suicide. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Okay. Need a photograph. One suicide and photograph. I don't see what one happened. Yeah, I don't see either. Don't see either. Could Adrian have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Right. I'm doing it. I've, I've had enough. I've had enough with this stupid case. Where else can I go? Home. Maybe to that office. Oh, we use the lights. I don't have anyone to call. That's quite a sad state of affairs. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Fuse box. You need a key to open it. I don't know why I'm snooping around this place. I've literally done nothing this episode. Feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit lost. Touch Hold the on there. Yes. You want to go in? I gotta clear you first. All right. Talk to him. Here to see Doctor. I'm Quentin here to again. see Doctor Quentin. Sure thing. You're cleared. Go right in. Right. Now, can Come talk in. to me about anything else. Dr. Quentin. Girl who oh, hello. Suicide. Come in. Come in. Good old Richard Dreyfus. Um, oh, yeah. Do headaches. you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. All right. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Right, if you suggest rest, then I guess I'll go home. 
Still feel like I haven't completed what I needed to do in, in the dorm, though. Elevator. Now let's go back to Rose's apartment. Who's in here? I'm not knocking on some stranger's door. Fair enough. Right, can we go to bed? I'm not ready for bed. Oh, come on. Right, there's something to do with this. It has to be something to do with it. You have to combine some of these, maybe. So, Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Can I click on that, anyway? Yeah, Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Um, so, how does she know that she slept all night? Hmm, no, I don't see any connection. Don't see connection there. Wait a minute. There we go. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Flip your neck. Right. Did Kelly lie? Did Kelly lie? Photograph. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Right. Let's go back to the dorms. That's all I needed. Just some fresh air. Just to walk around. A quick, quick trip to the dock. To get to the bottom of this case. Okay, now I know how the mechanics of this game works. I will um I'll endeavour to do it better. So that was a fun ten minutes, wasn't it? Back and forth, back and forth, talking about headaches. It's all it's all part of it's all part of point and click adventure games though, isn't it? I mean how long did it really take you to complete the secret of Monkey Island when you first played it? Be honest. I played it in the early nineties and it took months. I'm going off on a on a tangent now really, aren't I? Yeah. You lie. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Uh, what do I want to know? I want, to, I want a photograph. I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. <laughs> All right, just a sec. Bingo. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Let's ask her back. Did start. Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? No, we're not done. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Um, that's about Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Done. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Okay, so we have a, we have the photograph. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Let's have a look at the photograph, shall we? Where is it? Oh, no. Right click. Um, Joanne? According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. I don't want to ruin the picture. That's left click. I don't know if that girl. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. Girl. I assume that this is a friend of... Okay, I presume we have to show that photo to so, um, Adrian. Maybe he will know. Who these girls are. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Big smile. Love You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you no, want to so. know? Um. Can you tell me anything else about Kelly? I don't feel it's my place to say anything else. If you want to know more, you'll have to. Can I show him the picture? Could you tell me about... Well, 
as I said, nobody ever, she owned, she never had any, her, can you tell me, and she jumped, she died, it was in the, there was, make sure you, okay, yeah, we've done all that, um, we've got to talk about that, in fact, let's just do it one more time, just in case, they really thought you were a girl, yes, well, that's all for now, Don't thanks for helping out, just remember, leave my name out of it, well, that was annoying, how can we find out who those are, Drag, quick. Uh, can I not? Oh, I can't. I can't. You, I can't actually use any inventory. That's interesting. So we have a photograph. Um, tell you what. Let's go ring the uh, boss up. Do I have notes? That what to do. All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Alright. Fine. Come on then. Ugh. Oof. Again. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. So it's something that should have taken two minutes. It's taken 15. But never mind. We're all good. We're all good. I think she needs to lie down though. Bless her. Ooh. This Sorry. is getting bad. Take some paracetamol off. Come and lie down. Where is Angela? Oh my god. This really hurts. Oh dear. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Don't even type the story up. Just let, let it go. I wish I could go to bed, but I have work to do. All right. Do some writing, do some research, just, just write right. it. No more interruptions. Done. Articles oh. finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Alright, bedtime. Oh. oh no. No. What's... That photo just glowed then. I need fresh air. Oh. I've got to get out of here. Migraines are horrible. I know how she feels. Come on then, let's go out. Need fresh air, let's go out. And then, um... Let's get out of the building, I guess. Here. Can we ask about the things again? Oh, I've got to talk to this guy. See I'm here again. to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Go right in. Come on then. Just ask about headaches again. I was in the wrong order. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. What have I got to ask about now? Headaches again. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, Just but I know this. enough. Why? Just in it. I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Right. Okay. I guess exactly I'll head out. Exactly the same. Out. Exactly Very the same. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. You shouldn't have been able to do that bit first. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I feel like we're on track now. I feel like the stars have aligned and we shall go to bed. Yeah, because we can't go anywhere else, can we? Time for bed. Just have a lie down. Turn that, turn that stereo down. I wish I could go to bed, but I have work to do. Really? I have nobody to call. I'm a bit lost then. I've done my work. Have I got anything else? No, I've done my work. Do some writing, do some... <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Okay, do some research. Ooh, that's interesting. Joanne's suicide. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Joanne herself. No, I can't find any information about Joanne.
Nope, no information about Adrian. Kelly, last chance. No, no information about Kelly. Okay, so no, no information about anyone, about anything. Can we it off? Done. Right, I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Okay. Where do we go then? Maybe uh, Nish has got some paracetamol we can borrow. Is it Nish? Yes, Nishanti. Come in! Look, you've got him all excited. Come in! Sorry, dog. Moti. Ask about... So, right. you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That's about the park. Why do you yes. play the flute in the park? It's a oh. place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close that? Why now? did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. Oh they say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better. You do, do you? Definitely. I yeah. noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, Ooh, perhaps. She had a headache outside the dog park, didn't she? That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. <laughs> Feel free to give him one if you like. Let's do it. Let's Could feed I try the dog. feeding the dog? Sure. Here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. If you can't feed an animal in a point and click adventure well, game, I'd better when go. can you? Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Oh, have we got a, uh, have we got a dog biscuit? Yeah, I've got a dog biscuit. All right. Give that dog biscuit. Oh. Hmm, these dog biscuits are really mushy. Mushy? How do we how do we do that? Alright, but this is the last one. Go get it! Where's my dog biscuit? Click on that. Click on dog. Come here, boy. Up for a treat. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. See ya. Wow. So, um, yeah, we've, we've come and fed a dog. I think on that cliffhanger. Let me guess, you're hungry again. He does eat a lot. Go get it. it. Stop feeding him, love. Right, so we just, so we just get, so we. Let's talk to her one last time. See if there's anything else except for the dog biscuit. Right, no, I'm good. 
Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, we'll take it. We won't finish. We well, won't give it to I better it. go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. So do I have... I have a dog biscuit. No doubt I'll need a dog biscuit for something in the future. Who knows what, though. Right. And on that, like I said, on that cliffhanger, we're going to leave it there for the day. Um, I do feel a bit stuck, though. I'm not really sure what to do next. Because there's no real outside. So, um, yeah, if you leave a comment below and maybe nudge me in the right direction. Don't tell me, because that's boring. But if you've enjoyed this video, it's been a bit of a strange one, really, hasn't it? We've done about three minutes of actions and, and ten minutes of, well, walking around doing nothing. I'm going to stop rambling now. You have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is you're doing. Click on that like button. I forgot to say that. But take care.